Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back. Today we have a very exciting video. We are unboxing the new iPad Air 4 in sky blue, its accessories, and I'll also be talking about my first impressions, so let's get started. I was very much looking forward to the iPad Air 4, not only because of its redesign to the iPad Pro form factor, but also because of this beautiful sky blue color that we've never seen before with any other iPads. It's a very light, airy blue that reminds me of ocean waves. On the website, it looks a lot more baby blue, but in real life, I find it looks more like a sea foam, which is still a beautiful color. Let me know in the comments which color is your favorite. Here it is compared to the space gray on my iPad Pro. The shade of blue definitely varies depending on the lighting. It comes off more blue under direct sunlight and less so under indoor lighting. So my first impressions from holding it is, wow, it's thin, it's light. Keep in mind this is my first time with this iPad size, and despite 12.9 inch being my number one, I still think that this 10.9 inch Air is a great option for those who prioritize portability over size. I'm generally not someone who dwells on the speed of the device because iPads are generally quick enough for a student's usage and differences are not that noticeable unless you put devices side by side. But based on my first few swipes of the iPad, it's smooth and fast and you definitely won't be hindered by basic web surfing, note taking, videos, etc. The first thing I wanted to try was the Touch ID, which is now on the unlock button. Setup was easy and unlocking is fast. And nowadays we're all wearing masks, so the Touch ID honestly came right on time and you'll probably find it more handy than you think. I personally really like this lock button Touch ID and would love to see it integrated into the next line of iPad Pros, so fingers crossed there. Externally, we also have a camera, which is now 12 megapixels on the rear side, which is what the iPad Pro also has, so you can take high-res photos as well as 4K video if you need. Then we have the USB-C, which of course works with the cable and adapter that comes in the box. Another great new update to the iPad Air is the stereo speakers in landscape mode. So this will come in handy if you're listening to or watching online lectures and want a better sound experience. Here is an example of that in action. ...to their apps. So let's take a look. First is shape recognition. Although a simple feature, you're now able to draw arrows, stars, and hearts with ease just by drawing and holding. I haven't seen the heart or star myself in other note-taking apps, so this could be neat for those who do a lot of illustrations with their notes or if you just like to draw these for fun. So let's go ahead and try some digital note-taking on the new iPad Air 4. This generation of iPad Airs is compatible with the Apple Pencil second generation, which can be magnetically attached to the side of your iPad. The application that I'm using for this is GoodNotes 5, and I'm using one of my dark paper templates, which you can find in the description box. Writing feels smooth as always. I don't notice any latency when writing with the pencil. The big question is, is the screen size big enough for note taking? Personally, I think that the screen size is good for note taking. It does give some more room for a split screen compared to the regular iPads, which have a 10.2 inch screen. However, I am someone who likes to multitask on the iPad. So while I think the 12.9 inch is the best size for this purpose, I do think that the screen size on this iPad Air is still functional in split screen mode. So you can look through textbooks and take notes at the same time, just not to my ideal standard. Here is an example of my notes on both the Air and iPad Pro side by side. Not much of a difference in terms of how much you see on the screen, but I do think that the 12.9 inch gives you more room for your arm or hand to rest on the screen while writing. But overall, it was still very comfortable for me when writing on the iPad Air. Bottom line is, I think students will love the iPad Air for note taking just because of the redesign, so it looks a lot more sleek, more clean, more minimal, and it feels more like a paper pad without the home button and thick bezels. The iPad Air ships with iPadOS 14, which I have a whole video on, a beautifully functional update to digital note-taking. Last but not least, the Magic Keyboard now works with the new iPad Air. 
I'm no stranger to this, having used it with my 12.9 inch Pro. It feels natural with the iPad Air, and the size of the iPad Air also fits perfectly on the keyboard which also works with the 11 inch iPad Pro. Honestly, I think this whole setup is great because it doesn't take up that much space on the desk, so I might be trying this out for a while. I'm going to have a more detailed video on the Magic Keyboard later, as well as more comparison videos to come. Do let me know if you plan to get the iPad Air 4 in which color. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the iPad Air 4. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you guys soon.